Off the top tonight at 10, it is breaking news out of Seattle. It is yet another shooting, this one not too far from the Seattle waterfront. SDOT says all northbound lanes on First Avenue between Marion and Madison are blocked off in downtown Seattle. That is where we find Fox 13 News reporter Alejandro Guzman. Alejandro, what are you seeing out there? And I can tell you it is still very much an active scene. I'm going to step out of the way just to show you exactly the aftermath of what we're seeing right here exactly in the 100 block of Marion. We have several officers investigating after they say, Seattle Police says that there was a shooting just around 8 o'clock when they were called here for reports of a shot fired. Law enforcement to said at least one officer fired at a possible suspect while we're waiting for details we have been able to get and learn a little bit more information from eyewitnesses who were here on the scene, specifically Stephanie Smith, who was right smack in the middle of this unfortunate situation that unfolded right before her as she and other friends were having dinner. Stephanie, I'm going to have you walk in with me and kind of explain to us a little bit what happened. Well, I was having dinner at Bar Taglio. It's at First and Marion, and we heard uh, a gunshot. Uh, knew it didn't sound like a car backfiring, and everyone was kind of just like, "Oh, what's that?" It was really loud, and like we could tell it was close by. And then a couple more in rapid succession, and that's when the bartender uh, went to the door and he like peeked outside, and then he came back and he locked the door immediately. And I was right near where the bartender was and I said should should we get down and he said no we should run and so everybody just like grabbed their purse left their food and he showed us out the back of the restaurant um, into a stairwell and so we went up the stairwell and there was a security guard who met us like at the top of the stairwell and then escorted us down to the basement of the building and we could during all of that time we could hear more uh, shots fired um, from the gunman outside. So it was pretty scary. And there's about 12 of us like all running up the stairs and back down the stairs. And by the time we got to the basement, um, they opened, the security guy opened up the door because you could see the flashing lights from the police. And by that time they said it was safe for us to be able to cross the street and get out. So it was only about, about 10 minutes in that period of time, but it was definitely pretty scary. I bet there was about at least 10 shots that were fired in this area. We do see that there is Seattle Police's mobile precinct that was established at 3rd and Pike. How quick was their response? And we're lucky tonight that this didn't happen a few blocks into the heart of downtown. That's right. Like this side of, of downtown is much quieter than it is if you went just a couple more blocks up, like toward where their mobile command center was set up or where there's more restaurants and bars down that way. And so where we were, it was probably a, a better place for this to happen because there was much less people out on the streets than there would have been other, other places. Thank you so much for sharing, Stephanie. We're glad that you're safe out here tonight. Again, this is very much an active investigation. Police have said that it, one of the officers possibly shot with their calling a possible suspect in this shooting situation that is still very much unfolding. We're waiting to learn more from uh, the spokesperson with the Seattle Police Department. But as you can see tonight, there are several blocks, like you mentioned, between Madison and 2nd and 1st that are completely blocked off tonight. So if you do have to drive out here, make sure you're safe and avoid the area. That is one of the very first things that law enforcement tonight is trying to do as they continue to investigate and collect evidence as more than 10 shots were heard fired here on first in Madison, a developing situation we're going to stay on top of and bring you the very latest both on air and online. For now, back to you.